Research shows that extreme weather events and natural disasters are likely to become more common in Southern Africa in the coming years due to climate change. A study has found that the disastrous flood that hit Durban in April 2022 was the most catastrophic natural disaster yet recorded in the province in collective terms of lives lost, homes and infrastructure damaged or destroyed, and economic impact. 459 people were killed when the Greater Durban area and South Coast received more than 300 millimetres of rain in 24 hours. More than 4,000 homes were destroyed, 40,000 people left homeless and 45,000 left temporarily unemployed. Infrastructure and business losses were estimated at more than 34 billion rand. In response to the national disaster declared, national government allocated a disaster response grant of 297 million rand in June, July and September of 2022. Nine municipalities, including the Etikweni Metro, were to implement 233 projects. The Provincial Department of Cooperative Governance says to date, projects have been completed in eight of the nine municipalities, with nearly 90% of the grant spent. In March 2023, national government allocated 2.9 billion rand as a rehabilitation and reconstruction grant to the same municipalities for more than a thousand projects. The province says to date, three municipalities have completed the projects with others nearing completion and 93% of the grant spent. Other disaster grant allocations for devastating floods between 2019 and 2024 in the province amounted to more than half a billion rand. But in August 2023, more than a year after the floods, the Auditor General Tsakani Maloleke found that government's response from impact assessment to delivering relief was too slow compared with the planned milestones. Maluleke blamed some of the delays in repairs to water, sanitation and road infrastructure in KwaZulu-Natal on a lack of disaster readiness. She said the quality of repairs was also not monitored and that there was a lack of effective oversight and monitoring to ensure timely delivery. An expert in town planning from the University of KwaZulu-Natal says there is a need to prioritize and expedite the rebuilding process and implement resilience measures. We are not responding adequately and fast enough for two reasons. One is because we do not have the strategy to respond. But even in the event where we have the, the strategy, do we have the resources available immediately to, to tap into that? What is even more critical is that some provinces, such as KZN, they're dealing with disaster after disaster, and that's cost a lot of money. So recovering from one disaster to another, it requires a lot of money. And if we don't have money now, we cut down the budget. It means that we're going to pile the backlog of trying to recover. And that means that we may never recover and our economy will go down, our cities will go down. Meanwhile, the provincial government says, even under financial constraints, it remains dedicated to advancing policies that promote climate change awareness, and it aims to implement comprehensive measures to anticipate, respond and recover from disasters. This includes investing in early warning systems, improving infrastructure resilience and introducing community-based disaster risk reduction initiatives. We can say that the Provincial Disaster Management Centre continues to fulfill its obligations of coordinating disaster response within the province by working with municipalities, social partners and other government entities. Despite the budget cuts, the department is striving to ensure that we do not, or, or, or we are striving to ensure that there is no impact on the PDMC's capabilities. For instance, the department recently upgraded the communications infrastructure. The province's treasury says the government of provincial unity provides a better opportunity to hold officials to account. Now I can use the PFMA, which is the, 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 the Management Act for Finance in the province. I can use that to hold uh, departments accountable and ensure that the money is spent on what it should be, you know, what it's meant for. Where in the past, everybody was protecting everybody else. That's not happening. So that I can guarantee you will be happening. Professor Magadamisha Chipunga says the province urgently needs a comprehensive approach, one that involves the local community in decision-making around urban planning and climate change mitigation. 
Renee Heiner, SABC News, Durban.